Summer Cam with Elwyn Autumn, sponsored by the letter P. Hi campers, welcome back to Summer Camp. Today we're going to be having our pool party and acting like scientists. Now, scientists do research and experiments to discover the facts about something. And we're also going to be learning about objects that sink or float in water and do an experiment of our own. Now, an experiment is a test that scientists do. They perform certain actions and they observe the effects of these actions and the results teach them new things about the world. And water is a clear liquid and it's found all over the world. In fact, most of the world is made up of water. So now that we've discussed the term scientist, experiment and water, let's conduct an experiment of our own. Now for this experiment, you'll need a tub or pool of water, a chart to record your observations and a pencil, items to put in the water. Now the five objects that I've chosen are a glass bottle, plastic bottle, penny, leaf, and pencil. If you'd like to conduct your experiment with me, pause the video and gather your supplies. There's a sink or float chart link right below the video. But before we conduct our experiment, let's hear from our sponsor, the letter P. P. P is for peanut butter, a tasty treat discovered by scientist George Washington Carver. Welcome back. Time for our pool party. Now, just one thing you need to know. I don't really have a pool. I know I said it was a pool party, but I'm improvising. And if you don't have a pool either, that's fine. You can use a bucket or a dish pan or a tote. So before we start our sink and float experiment, we need to review our charts. And here is mine, sink or float. Now, there are three columns on my chart. Object, which is the item you're gonna be putting into the water. Prediction, which is a guess. You're going to decide, is my item going to sink or is it going to float? And then you'll have to think about it and you'll circle S if you think it's gonna sink, and you'll circle F if you think it's gonna float. And then, when you're all done putting all the items in, you go back and you observe, sink or float. Now, I'm saying that I think the glass is going to sink. That's my prediction. So afterwards, when I'm all done putting the items in the water, I'm gonna look and decide whether or not I was correct. The same thing for the plastic bottle. I think it's going to float. When I'm all done, go back and see if I was correct. Same thing with the penny, the leaf, and the pencil. All right, so let's do our experiment. The first item I'm going to put in is the glass. And I predicted that it was going to sink. And my prediction was correct. The next thing I'm going to put in is the plastic bottle. And I predicted that this was going to float. Let's see if I was correct floating. I was correct. The next thing is the penny. And I predicted that this was going to sink. So let's see. It sank. The next item is the leaf. And I think the leaf is going to float. And I was correct. The last item is the pencil. Now I predicted that this pencil was going to sink. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness, my prediction. I think I might have been wrong. I'm looking at it with my eyes. I'm observing just like a scientist is supposed to. And that pencil is definitely not sinking. It is definitely floating. So I'm going to go back to my chart and record my observations. Now we need to ask ourselves, why do some objects float on water while others sink? And that's because of something called density. Everything around us is made up of teeny tiny particles called molecules. They're so small, we can't see them. How dense an object is depends on how much space there is between the molecules. Think of it like a toy box. When it's completely full, all of your toys are packed in really, really tight 
and it's hard to get your hand in there to find the toy you're looking for because there isn't enough space to move your hand. The toys are densely packed together. When you remove some of the toys, the space between them opens up, which makes them less dense and gives you more room to move your hand through the toys. Now, let's check our observations. Now, just one little note. If it's easier for you to do your predictions, put the item in the water, and then record your observation, that's great. Just for the way we have everything set up here, it was easier for me to do it this way because we are not very high tech. So let me go through, review my prediction and what I observed. Now, I said the glass was going to sink, so I circled an S for sink, and if you remember, the glass sank to the bottom of the tube. So I was correct. I'm going to circle the S. I also said the plastic bottle was going to float, so I circled the F for float, and it's still floating. I was correct. I said the penny was going to sink, and it did. So I'm going to circle the S for sink. I said the leaf was going to float. And for my observations, I noted that yes, it definitely floated. <laughs> Bear with us, it's a little windy out in my backyard today. So uh, the leaf, the leaf is still sinking. I mean, floating. I predicted it was going to float and it is floating. I'm circling the S. Now, I said the pencil was going to sink, but when I put it in the water and I used my eyes to observe, it floated. So I was wrong, but that's okay because that's why scientists do experiments. It helps them learn new things about the world. And I learned a brand new fact. Pencils don't sink. They float. Now, let's recap what we learned today. We had our pool party, and we learned that if, even if you don't have a pool, it's okay to conduct a sink or float experiment. You can use a bucket, a dish pan, a tote, or I even thought of something else, a tub. You can do it while you get a bath. We learned that items sink or float, and sink means they go all the way to the bottom. Float means they stay on the top. We learned how to use a chart. We learned about predictions, which means you take a guess. Is the object going to sink or float? I don't know. I think it's going to sink, so I'll circle the S. I think it's going to F. Float, so I'll circle the F. And when you're all done, then we learned about observation, where you use your eyes and you watch what happens and you can record it. My observation proved that yes, the glass was going to sink, the bottle was going to float, and I learned that pencils float and they don't sink. That's all for now. Thanks, everyone.